Well, it's the age-old phrase, rent money is dead money, but according to experts, this isn't necessarily true. Yeah, in fact, our next, next guest says it could actually be a better financial decision to rent the home you want to live in rather than buy mm. it. Property guru George Markoski from Positive Property Solution joins us now. George, good morning to you. How are you, George? Just How explain you? why rent money is often described as dead money. Look, um, basically, if you're renting and you're not saving money for investment property, it is dead money. However, new savvy investors, what they're doing now is the place you want to live in and the place you want to invest in aren't necessarily the same place, especially the price of these days. So if we want to live close to um, where we want to work or school or amenities. cafes, mm -hmm. yep, sorry, amenities, stuff like that, usually those properties are quite high now, especially here in, here in Sydney. So basically uh, what we can do is we can rent them for less and then the savvy investors, they invest their money because they've got more cash flow in properties that are actually going up in value. A lot of people over the years have made good money out of property. And a lot of people. It is the Australian dream. Practicalities sometimes don't come into it. Yes. And see, the thing is, your owner occupier, the property you live in, is not necessarily an investment. Mm. It does go up long term, yeah. but it's not giving an income. And really, what an investment is something that can. Oh, you're not paying tax on it, though? Uh, no, you're not paying tax when you sell it, mm. but you're not getting tax deductions. And yep. see, um, there's a, when, you, when you've got your own home, you've only got one income, yep. your salary. But when you're uh, renting, and that's a lot cheaper, then what happens is you've got an investment property, and with investment property, you've got your salary, mm. you've also got your tax coming back, and you've got the tenant. And okay. you can leverage that, and that works a lot better. OK. Talk us through the other benefits of renting, then. OK. So it, when you rent, you can live in the area you don't want to live in, yep. so you don't have to commute longer. And you've got that lifestyle, but also you've got more cash flow. And then what you can do is if it's really good if you're saving to buy a property, you can save quicker because you can buy a property that you can invest in. Mm. And also, when you've uh, got a property that you're investing in, it's a lot cheaper. So, for example, I bought a property in Queensland recently. And that property, if I was living there as an owner-occupier, would have cost me around $600 a week. However, because I've got the tax return and the tenant, it's cost me about $11 a week. Mm. So properties in Australia, they double every 10 years or so. Mm. So if you buy a $400,000... Yep. What sort of property would you buy, just quickly, before oh, we go? great. Yes, so if you're going to buy a property, you really want to buy a property in a capital city or mm. large regional centre, but also you want to make sure there's a lot more demand than supply. So you've got to be very, very careful and take your time and buy the right property mm. because, especially these days, there's certain areas that you don't want to buy in and certain areas you want to buy in. But basically, when I buy a property, I like them to cost me around 40 or $50 a week. So that way they're a lot more affordable. So we've got to change our thinking about renting, really, haven't we, is the bottom line? Absolutely, yeah. definitely. All right. right, George, good to meet you. Thank, Thank you, good you to meet much. you. It is bang on 8 o'clock time for the latest news.